Now our topic is subtractions. The Sanskrit terminology or the Vedic terminology for subtractions is Vivakalanam. Vivakalanam means subtractions in English. So most of the people will think that subtractions are very tough. They are very tough and uh, people need uh, many times fingers to do the subtraction calculations and uh, they need some borrowings. They have to cut off the numbers and uh, do the calculations in a tough, in a different or in a difficult manner. But in our Vedic maths, subtractions are the easiest I can say when you compare any other, other conventional method. Once again, subtractions are the easiest in Vedic maths when you compare with any other conventional methods. Okay, and we are not going to follow the regular methods in the subtraction. Before starting subtractions, that means before starting Vivekalanam in uh, Vedic Maths, okay, we should have some basics which are necessary for the subtraction methods. There are two methods, uh, there are nearly there are three methods in our subtractions we have to follow. First, let us discuss the basics. So, first basics is all from 9 last from 10 all from 9 last from 10 in Sanskrit terminology we call it as Nikhilam Navataha Nikhilam Navataha Cheramam Dasataha So once again I repeat Nikhilam Navataha Cheramam Dashataha and its English meaning is all from 9 last from 10. What is this Nikhilam Navataha Cheramam Dashataha or all from 9 last from 10. Now let us see with an example. Okay. Now suppose for example uh, if you take some number 456. What is the all from 9 last from 10 or Nikhilam Navataha Charamam Dasta for this number 456? Nikhilam Navataha Charamam Dasta is simply nothing but you need to subtract every number from 9 but last number from 10 starting from the left side. Once again, Nikhilam Navataha Charamam Dasta nothing but subtracting every number from 9 but last number from 10 starting from left to right. Now you tell me what is the Nikhil. Uh, all from 9 last from 10 for this number so 9 minus 4 5 9 minus 5 4 and 10 minus 6 4 so 544 you may think why we need this number what is the use of this number okay so use of these numbers use of this uh, all from 9 last from 10 okay you will find in the coming topics that means in the coming uh, methods that is for the subtraction so you just have some idea regarding this one now one more example suppose 5 2 3 6 I want all from 9 last from 10 what is all from 9 last from 10 again for this one subtract every number from 9 that means starting from left 9 minus 5 4 9 minus 2 7 9 minus 3 6 but last number from yes 10 minus 6 4 once again every number from 9 but last number from 10 starting from left to right this is your answer one more example 703 so what is this one 9 minus 7 2 9 minus 0 9 but last number 10 minus 3 how much 7 297 suppose one more example a number is like this 43600 43600 whenever you are getting zeros at the end whenever you are getting zeros at the end okay for some time ignore these zeros just ignore for some time write all from 9 last from 10 for the remaining number only so what is the remaining number 436 we, will, we are going to ignore this one for some time okay not for permanently just for some time we are going to ignore this one okay now what is the uh, remaining number 436 now you tell me what is alpha main last one 10 for this one yes 9 minus 4 5 9 minus 3 6 9 uh, 10 minus 6 4 so 564 is the alpha main last one 10 now get these zeros down this will be your answer 
that means whenever you are getting zeros at the end ignore the zeros for some time not in the middle i am saying at the end okay so whenever you are going to get the zeros at the end ignore the zeros for some time write the all from my last from 10 for the remaining number and after getting the answer for that number drop the zeros as it is that will be your all from 9 last from 10 okay one more okay finally we will see one example so that you will get a clear picture okay so suppose uh, 5403000 i need all from 9 last from 10 for this number so again i am saying i am not talking about the zero which is in between non zero digits i am saying about the zeros which are coming at the end which are which are started in the middle and continued until end so though about those zeros i am speaking just ignore these zeros for some time now write the r from 9 last from 10 for the remaining number how much will you get 9 minus 5 4 9 minus 4 5 9 minus 0 9 but last from 10 yes or no so what is 10 minus 3 7 okay after writing r from 9 last from 10 now drop the zeros this will be your answer okay so i think now you got a clarity about r from 9 last from 10 now we will see the application again one more part of the basics that is vinculum 